Oh, I don't feel too good. I, I think I have a cold or something. Uh, I don't know if I can do the theme this week. Do you think you could do it, Lewis? I mean, I, I can try. Okay. It will be. I mean, what what you're gonna want to do? I'll I'll press record, and you just step up to the microphone and and just give it give it your best shot. Okay, you think you're ready for this? Yeah, I guess. All right, let's do this. It's Sunday, February 22nd, and it's time for This Week at SFT. So, uh, I don't know if Lewis is going to cut it uh, for this week. And also, my voice is uh, sounding a lot better. But luckily, I have some other friends here uh, that's gonna, that are going to try to audition. So, do we have a Jay McBride in the audience? Sunday, February 22nd, and it's time for This Week at SFT. Okay, uh, next up is uh, B Rome. We have a B Rome. Right here! Next up, we have K. Jameson. We have a K. Jameson here. It's Sunday, February 22, and it's time for this week at SFT. <laughs> All right, this is taking longer than I thought. Uh, do we have a, a young bitch? Is a young <laughs> bitch here? Okay, we got uh, we got one more. Uh, is there an E McWilliams? E McWilliams? Is that you? It's Sunday, February twenty second, and it's time for this week at SFT. This week's guest, Associate Director for Residence Life, Eugene Fryer, and here's your host. Greg Scamato. Hello and welcome everyone to episode 6 of This Week at SFT. As always, I'm your host, Greg Scamato, going on episode 1 of Not Dressing Up for uh, Filming. I apologize for that. Today I'm sitting in my studio, which I use to create this show and also to write music for films and dance and video games and videos and anything you could think of because this week is all about you and it's all about sometimes being a geek. Uh, we've got GeekCon going on. It's Geek Week over at Discovery Park and the word geek has a weird stigma to it. It, it sometimes can mean like lame or like nerdy which sometimes honestly something can be lame and you can be a geek but uh, to know that you are a geek about something, like for me, I love listening to music and like taking it apart. Any anything from uh, Johann Sebastian Bach to uh, to Kanye West, like really taking apart the music and studying it is what I love, and I get excited about it. And so um, I want you guys to think about what excites you. What is your passions? Because uh, that's all. That's what this week is about, and that's what your life should be about. If you want to get involved in the hall's own improvisatory comedy troupe, uh, we're going to be starting it up soon. So if you like uh, improvisational comedy, or if you think you're funny, uh, start looking for updates on the Facebook group. And now I'll let you know about a little bit more of what's going on in the hall and around campus with this week's rapid fire. That was fast. Let's keep the ball rolling, all right? This week's interview is with the Associate Director of Residence Life, Eugene Fryer, which makes him my boss's boss, which means that this was a very dangerous interview for me to get. But I'm glad I did. He's got a lot of information for you guys, and he's a really nice guy. So here's my interview this week with Eugene Fryer. Want to know more? Follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and join the SFT 2014-2015 Facebook group. And I'm back. Hello, everyone. I'm here today with Eugene Fryer, Associate Director of Housing and Residence Life. 
So, Eugene, what's going on this week? Uh, this week is GeekCon. It's uh, the one concentrated week a year uh, that we celebrate geek culture and geek identity. We try to do a lot throughout the year as well, but we have events happening from Monday through Saturday throughout the week this week. Okay, but like, that's great and all, but what is GeekCon? GeekCon is, is uh, celebrating you being you. Uh, I've had a lot of people tell me when I talk to them about GeekCon, uh, but Eugene, I'm not a geek. Uh, and what I say to them normally is, ha, 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 ha. yes, you are. Because uh, everybody's a geek about something. Everybody has that one or two or ten things that they geek out about. We, we, what we talk about sometimes with the other folks that work on this is uh, we call it the grocery store test. What things, if, if you're in line in the grocery store standing behind two people, two people you've never met before, and they're talking about something, what topics would they be talking about that would make you feel confident enough, enough to jump into that conversation and just start taking part in it? You geek out about that. It can be the stereotypically geeky things, comics, Star Wars, sci-fi, video games. It can be sports. It can be fashion. It can be whatever. Being a geek is not about what you love. It's about how you love it. So I'm a geek. You are. A, I hate to break it to you. Oh, but yes, man. you are. Man. I, I got to call my mom, I guess. She knows. Oh Trust no! Me, uh, <laughs> so what are what are the highlights of the week? Uh, we have stuff going on uh, throughout the week. We have a, a couple of big collaborations uh, that are making some pretty amazing things happen. Uh, working with the the fine art series, we have Bill Roseman, one of the creative directors for Marvel Comics. I heard about uh, that. He's yeah. coming out to give a speech, uh, do like a little talk and stuff. Uh, we have one of my favorite programs I've ever taken part in, uh, the Star Trek Leadership Bridge uh, Simulation where we kind of um, act out, like, you, if you come to the program, you get to be a captain of the Enterprise, and we have uh, different people, volunteers, acting as crew members, and we have up on uh, the smart board, uh, me and some folks are in my office Skyping in over to Bruce Hall where the program is, uh, acting through scenarios and stuff like that about conflict and leadership and all that kind of stuff. Um, we have a mini Acon, something that we collaborate with the city of Denton on. Um, that brought out about 2,000 people last year. It's at the Emily Fowler Library. And what, what is that? It's a, a mini version of the anime convention Acon that happens in Dallas. Oh, every gotcha. Year. Okay. Uh, so there's different uh, voice artists, uh, comic artists, anime artists, uh, different stuff. Uh, they come out, vendors, all that kind of stuff. It's, it's a really, really good time for the Denton community. And is that free? That's free. Oh, that free. man. And there's a lot of giveaways okay. there and, and some things that you can purchase as well. And then we also have another one of the big things is uh, this is going to be the fourth UNT Comic Studies uh, Symposium. It's a symposium with uh, students, faculty, and staff from UNT and the, the DFW area talking about comics as a legitimate source of literature. Uh, for those of you guys who didn't know, uh, Eugene went here for his undergrad, his graduate, and now he's working here full time. Um, and it's just been a couple years, but going on the geek theme, if we had a flux capacitor and we could time travel Back to your freshman year, what would you do differently? Uh, I really, I really enjoyed my freshman year. Uh, I lived at West Hall, uh, probably the best hall on that side of campus. I'm just saying that because Greg. Uh, um, anyway, I lived at West Hall. I did a lot, like with. Uh, <laughs> I had a lot of friends and stuff in the building, uh, and I, I great network of support and friendship and stuff. But I probably wish I would have done more, like getting involved, like on campus. Um, I didn't really have an on-campus job. I did some stuff with rec sports, which was really cool. I was a referee. But doing more like uh, job-wise or with my major, uh, just to get start making those connections that would help me out with networking and resumes and stuff down the road. I think that would be the, the big thing I would do differently. And that's it. 